People often refer to sadness as a rain cloud, and I'd have to agree perpetually. Shrouding your life in a gray, dreary haze, hearing the beauty of the world and missing the days when it didn't all just sound like white noise. Sometimes you still make the choice to grab your umbrella of a fake smile, rile up the courage to go out and try to laugh a little at how soaked you get anyway, despite your efforts, because it hurts a little less to pretend you're dry, at least your eyes can be as such. But no matter how much you want to share your umbrella, it feels like everyone's just avoiding your rain, like your pain is some contagious disease, and any genuine sharing of your emotions could suck them in. They run away at the slightest notion that you'll pull them down with you. It doesn't seem very fair. People sometimes say sadness is suffocating, I'd say that's pretty spot on, all this weight you've brought upon your shoulders, you can't bolster yourself enough for being buried alive. You've lost count of how many times you've tried to at least sit up, but if you're like me and only 5'6", even standing wouldn't be enough, so you reach for some help just to get back up to ground level, but with all that dirt you might end up soiling someone's hands. It doesn't seem very fair. When it feels like nobody even tries to care enough about you, not even yourself, to pull you out of your new home six feet under, it's no wonder. Between all the rain and the inability to breathe, it seems only fitting one would try to drown their sorrows. I've tried different methods. Whiskey, nicotine, weed. I've tried to weed out the bad things in my head, fill the void, whisk myself away so I don't feel so dead inside. I pride myself at how good at it I can be. I'm an escapist, running from distraction to distraction. Houdini breaking free from a straitjacket underwater has nothing on me when I convince the world daily that I don't belong in one myself. It's no wonder. Between all the dark, trickling clouds and dirt, it's been so long I've been shielding my eyes. I've forgotten what it's like to really appreciate the sunrise. To feel all of which is comprised, not just the warm rays of dawn, but the dark before it. You can't just look toward the morning, you have to see yourself through the night. Because that's part of it. And if you really want to get to the heart of it, you have to experience it all. Even when it sucks, especially when it sucks, you have to live. And even though it's hard, something's got to give eventually, right? I find it very hard to maintain this state of being a bitter optimistic. But I have to believe it'll work. One of my efforts has to stick, because I need it to. It's no wonder. Why anyone feeling this way would want to give up from time to time But it's dangerous to stop searching for a way out That's not escaping, that's denial if you just pretend you're somewhere else You have to understand your rain You have to feel it You may not want to feel it You may be holding on to that fake umbrella for dear life And that tight grip may feel strangely secure But it's only good for strangling yourself You have to feel it Otherwise how would you know that the rain stopped? I hope it stops.